Welcome to Wine Bulk TV, New Zealand's fourth most passionate wine program and we've got a couple of wines both from Waipara and um, Waipara is really kind of this growing region in New Zealand and not many people know too much about it. It's just north, 45 minutes north of um, Canterbury, uh, Christchurch I should say and um, there's been some pretty big plantings going on down there and kind of the, the household names are Pegasus Bay, Crater Rim, um, then there are obviously Black Estate, Mountford, they're all down there. And the first one we're going to try is the 2006 Tresillian Pinot Noir. And first thing you'll notice is, is the colour. It's extremely light. And there's also, also a kind of, looks like it's fairly well oxidised. You get a kind of quite a pleasant kind of aromatic on the nose and you kind of get a bit of a hint of spice on there but mainly a kind of mushroom kind of character um, and then you get a bit of fruit just underneath that What I'm getting is I'm getting that kind of initially savoury and then a bit of sweet fruit right at the back. Normally I would expect the sweet fruit and then turn into savoury so it's kind of like all in reverse. You get that kind of cherry, that plum um, and then you get that kind of mushroom character at the front. Um, mushroom forest floor, bit of kind of damp leaf type thing but um, it's quite well balanced. There's a good amount of acidity in this wine. Um, doesn't do too much for me. Um, fair, find it fairly one-dimensional and um, I'm gonna score that oh, 82 points. The next wine is the Black Estate Pinot Noir 2006 and this is from the Omahi region and um, what you'll notice is quite a nice vibrant purple hue there I might just pour that out and pour some more in. Now this has got less of that kind of uh, savoury, mushroomy kind of character. It's still there, but you you get a lot of primary fruit. You get kind of like this this cherry and the on the plum action going as well. But you also get a kind of almost a hint of kind of spice and slash cinnamon there. Um, There's a lot of minerality to it, you get a kind of some quite firm tannins there but you get quite a lot of primary fruit there. There's a little hint of kind of creaminess right at the back but you do get that, that fruit that I talked about earlier, kind of like that. You get a raspberry, cherry, plum um, and then you get a bit of savouriness at the back. Um, and it really is, it's getting to how Pinot should be. And Wiper is quite so much from an exciting region that I mean, we should be buying more of these kind of wines and um, and getting a bit funky because this is definitely funky. So if, if you ever see that kind of label in the shop, it's very new world and um, but quite nice, fairly understated label. Um, I would definitely go out and buy it and recommend it. I think it sits on the shelf for about forty bucks, which which ain't cheap, but it's it's well made wine, especially kind of when you consider Central Targo is kind of. Uh, 50 bucks and falling slightly but uh, this one 40 bucks and probably come down you probably find it some places 35 bucks whatever and, it, and it's worth buying um, so I'm going to give that 89 plus points and I quite like the other wines that come from Omahi uh, especially like the the Omahi rise from Crater Rim they're my kind of my kind of wines so um, yeah no one's found the bottle of 2004 DRC yet so um, the hunt's still on and I was going to say that the, one of the clues that I should give is that it's not in a haven, or well, it is a kind of haven, um, but rather than a beach it's got some mud flats. Um, 
close by. This is all close by. And so that's, that's I think clue number nine or 10. So hopefully someone will be out there digging. I know that there are quite a few holes dug all over the weekend, but um, carry on. Hopefully by the end of the week, someone would have found it. Um, and if not, then the hunt goes on. And if it lasts for another, right till the end of the month, I might just dig it up and drink it myself. Hey, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you later.